Hi. Hello. I never imagined our first meeting would be like this. Well, I, I, as I said in my letter, I was quite happy to wait until we could meet properly. I know, but who knows how long lockdown's going to last and we could be waiting forever to meet properly. Yeah, that's true. That's why I thought it would be best to do this. Right. Have you ever Zoomed before? Me? Oh, uh, no. I mean, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I, I've, um, I never really used a computer before lockdown. Oh, really? Well, I, I never really had any need to before. Oh, well, you know what they say. Necessity is the mother of invention. Oh, sorry. No, don't be. It's all right. So what do we do now? Oh, well, according to the guidance... There's guidance for this? Oh, yes, quite a bit, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, well, that means there must be quite a few people in our situation. Oh, there are plenty. Oh, really? <laughs> for some reason, I thought we would be the only ones. <laughs> oh, no, this, this kind of thing happens all the time, even in lockdown, apparently. I, uh, I mean, we, we might have to adapt the guidance slightly for lockdown. Like everything else. Right, but essentially it's the same. So uh, what does the guidance say? It says, for a first meeting, it's often advisable to set a time limit in advance to avoid the risk of either party being upset or offended if they think the meeting either ends too soon or goes on too long. And that's what you said in your email, that we could talk for just 10 to 15 minutes to begin with. Is that still all right? That's fine. Although we can always extend it if you want to. Oh, no, no, no. 10 to 15 minutes is fine. It's fine. I mean, it would be different if we were actually meeting. Right. And, and I, I really don't want to spend more than 10 to 15 minutes in front of a computer screen. Uh, to be honest, after that, it uh, just gives me a headache. Okay. So, uh... Let's get started. What do you want to ask? Uh, to be honest, I didn't really want to ask anything. I just wanted to see you, even if it was only on Zoom. Oh, right. Um, well, here I am. Didn't you want to see me? Oh, of course I did. I do. Good, I'm pleased it's not just me. No, of course not. So if, if you don't want to ask a question, uh, could I ask you one? Of course, go ahead. Why did you get in touch with me now? I mean, before lockdown. Because my parents died. I mean, sorry. Oh, no, 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 don't be sorry. They were your parents. They were, and they were very good to me. I, I didn't want to start looking for you until after they died. I think they would have found it too upsetting. Of course. That's only natural. Anyway, my mother died a few years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. She had a good innings, as they say. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. As did my father, but he died earlier this year, so... So you thought it was finally time to look for me? Right. Well, I'm glad you did. Have you seen my mobile? Sorry, what are you doing here? I thought you were going out. Well, I did, but I forgot my... Oh my God, are you zooming her now? Yes, I am. Sorry. Um, look, I, I didn't want to do it while you were here. 
So I waited till you went out for your walk, but it turns out you had the shortest walk in history. I told you, I forgot my mobile. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get out of your way. No, no, no. It's okay. You're here now. Might as well introduce you. Really? Are you sure? Yes, come on. Um, Ruth, this is my husband, Terry. Right. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's lovely, but forgetful, as you can tell. I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't be. It's really nice to meet you. And you. Yeah, Vanessa's told me all about you. Well, um, everything she's been able to find out about you. Terry. <sighs> sorry. I'll get out of your way. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't. Just go, will you, please? Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, Vanessa's great, so I, I imagine you're great as well. Uh, I look forward to meeting you. That, that's it. That's that's all I wanted to say. See you. Honestly, of all the times you had to walk in on me. It's all right. Really? Really. Seems really nice. Oh, he is. Daft, but nice. <laughs> 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 well so what happens next what well i mean after this what happens next oh well i, I haven't really given it much thought to be honest i was so nervous about the first meeting i hadn't really <sighs> thought about what a second meeting would be like I didn't know if you'd want a second meeting. Oh, I do. I do. Yes. Well, in fact, it will be our first meeting. I mean, proper, without a computer screen between us. Right. I mean, I suppose, well, oh, we'll have to socially distance, I guess. Really? Well, like you said, I mean, no one knows how long lockdown is going to go on for. And, well, even... Even when they begin to lift it, I mean, there's still going to be restrictions for a while, I suppose. Oh, goodness knows. It's going to be ages before we get back to normal, if we ever do. Right, of course. But I do still want to see you. I mean, really see you. I, even if we have to wave at each other from across a field. Hopefully it won't come to that. No, hopefully not. Look, Vanessa, um, do you mind if we leave it there for now? Really? We've only just... Yes, please. But yes, but it, it, it's, um, well, it, it's like the guidance says, it, it's best to keep it short to begin with. And, um, and like I said, I... I hate computers that they they really do give me a headache and um i mean the next time we meet in person for real well we can take all day that would be great yeah i mean we we, we could make a picnic uh, and meet in a park or whatever i'd like that yes i'd like that too <sighs> well i suppose we better wrap it up Oh, uh, before you do, um, there is something I wanted to say to you. Oh, yes? What's, what's that? Well, isn't it obvious? What is? Well, uh, I wanted to say I'm sorry. Oh, right. Okay. What for? Well, for giving you away, of course. Oh, right. Of course. And you, when I accepted your Zoom invitation or whatever it's called, I knew that was the one word I really wanted to say to you, even if I said nothing else. Well, it is the hardest word to say, apparently, at least according to the song. Look, I, I, I don't want to go into details well not now especially as we're on camera but um it was a different world 50 years ago and 
Well, I was a different person. I know. I mean, I imagine. No, you can't imagine what it was like. I mean, um, I was on my own. I, I couldn't look after you. That's why I had to give you away. Right. I thought it must be something like that. I couldn't get rid of you. I mean, um, that's what your father wanted, your biological father, your birth father, or whatever they're called. I, I couldn't do that. I mean, it wasn't your fault that you were alive, no more than it was my fault that I couldn't look after you. I, I knew I had to keep you before I could eventually, when I could give you away, if that makes any sort of sense. The, the, the only thing I could give you was life. I had to give you that at least. Well, I'm very glad you did. Otherwise I'd never have met Terry or become a mum myself. You're a mum yourself? Yes. You're a grandmother if you're not already. Oh. I'm not already. Well, you are now. And you can meet her next time, whenever that is. Oh, God. I mean, great. Uh, and like I said, um, I really had better go now. Right, of course. Oh, but it... It really has been lovely to meet you, even if it is on Boom or Zoom or whatever else, or whatever it is you call it. <laughs> Me too. I mean, yeah, it's been lovely to meet you too. And we will do it again soon, I promise. Only for real next time, even if I can only give you a virtual hug. After 50 years, a virtual hug is better than no hug at all. After 50 years. I don't think I could settle for a virtual hug. No, me neither. Till then. Till then. No, how, how? How do I get myself out of here? Um, uh, don't worry, I can, I can let you go. Oh, right. Yeah, good. Oh. oh, goodbye, Vanessa, darling. Bye. Oh.
pleasure boats. I suppose this must be the opposite of a pleasure boat. What? Well, it's more like a death boat, isn't it? Man. As I explained when you called, Mrs Kelly, I provide boats for families or individuals who want a boat all to themselves for special or personal reasons. Anyway, look, I'm going to go back in the cabin, so if you need me, just call me any time or knock on the door, call out any time, all right? Thank you, dear. Yes, thank you. This seems nice. I suppose he has to be. What do you mean? Well, otherwise he couldn't do this, could he? I mean, do you ever meet an undertaker with bad manners? I wish we were dealing with an undertaker now, rather than, well, this. It's what he wanted, Mum. We have to respect that. I know, and I do, however hard it is. Right, should we get on with it? I think we should. We got the boat for an hour. I don't mind paying for another hour. We, we can take longer if you need longer. No, Mum, I don't. Neither do you. So let's do it. All right, then. I can't remember how they said to open it. They said the top should just slide off. Right. We're not here. You've got to move closer to the side of the boat so it goes overboard. We don't want him blowing about the boat, do we? No, right. Okay. It won't open. What? It won't open. It's stuck. No, it's not. Let me have a go. told you. So what do we do now? We could just throw the whole box in. No way, there's enough crap in the sea already. I'm not adding to it. Besides, you're supposed to scatter ashes, not just dump them. Maybe Neil can help. What? No, don't bother him. Oh, Mum, this is his job. He probably deals with this kind of thing all the time. Neil? Can I help? I hope so. Top of the box is stuck. We can't open it. Huh. You'd be amazed how often that happens. They'll probably stick it down with super glue or something. Um, I'll have a look though. Hmm. You're right. Seems as though they've stuck it down fast. Ah. Ah, that's precisely why I bring my trusty toolbox with me. Wrong. Well, I'm afraid there is. I've never seen this before, but somehow they've managed to seal the top shut. What? You're joking. No, I'm afraid not. Um, there are no screws on the top that I can see. None to undo, anyway. What about the bottom? The bottom? Yes, are there any screws there? Oh, yes, there is. Well, just undo them. They'll do. Oh, well, if you're sure. Well, why not? He came into this world arse first, he might as well leave it the same way. Well, he did! He was born upside down, the, the wrong way round. Well, if you're quite sure. I'm absolutely sure, thank you. For a moment there, I thought you said last first, as in, well, the first should be last, the last should be first. We get a lot of Bible readings in this job, they sort of get stuck in your head. Right, got you. Now, here we are. Now, as I said before, be very careful when you open the box. You know, make sure, sorry, the bottom of the box. Make sure you get it right the way over the edge to make sure the ashes go in the water. All right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it and uh, I'll be back in the cabin if you need anything, okay? Thank you, dear. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> no problem. You ready, Mum? As ready as I'll ever be. I'm 
going with him. What? What are you doing with that? Swim. That's the point. I want to go with him. I was there at his beginning. I should be there at his end. You are, Mum. We both are. That's why we're here. Oh, no, I mean really with him. I can't go on without him. Yes, you can. I can't. Not knowing how he went. That was his decision, Mum. Remember. Of course I remember. I'll never forget. How could he do it? He might as well have killed me too when he took his own life. I know, Mum. I know how hard this has been for you. Bad enough losing a sibling, but a child. Uh, I can't imagine. But as I've told you a million times before, it's not your fault. It is. It must be. No, it's not. How could it be? We're twins, Mum. You raised us exactly the same way. John chose to take his own life. Well, I... Well, even after all this, I want to live mine. But who knows? Maybe I'm to blame. What? Well, I was always the happy-go-lucky one, wasn't I? I was always the one who could survive things. John couldn't. Well, that's not your fault. Once I wondered whether I'd stolen his serotonin. Stolen what? Serotonin. It's, it's the chemical that makes you happy. I used to think maybe somehow in the womb I'd taken his. So I'd ended up with double the amount I should have had. And he had none. Well, now who's talking shite? Must run in the family. <sighs> Mum. It's time to let go. I know. What do we do now? We just sit here for as long as we want. Well, till our time's up. Okay. Then will you do one thing for me? Of course. What? Will you sing it? What? Here. Well, you never got to sing it in church, did you? I didn't want any music at the funeral, Mum. Didn't even really want a funeral. But he never said anything about music on the boat, did he? Suppose not. Good. And sing it for me now, please. Sing it for him. All right then. Say.